Well, go on massive. I am FZBA. Welcome or welcome back to the channel for those returning persons. Today we have a very interesting video and guys I'd like to think that everything that I put out is quite interesting and it's giving you some information but in this particular video we're gonna be doing an experiment and an experiment is one of those things that I love to do especially when we're going to be quelling a debate on a matter now you've seen the title of the video we are going to be investigating we're gonna be showing you the proof of why we boil herbs and not steep or brew them if we intend to get the medicinal properties from these herbs now of course there are always exceptions to the rules but in this particular video we are going to be looking at the sour sap leaves and we are going to be preparing it and we're going to be showing you why you need to boil your sour sap leaves and we're also going to be sharing with you briefly some of the benefits and properties of the sour sap leaves and the bark now let's get into the kitchen because this is an action-packed video and I want you at the end of this video to form your own conclusions and after you form your own conclusions please type it in the chat and tell me guys what you think now let's get into the video these are our source of leaves they have been washed and dried for over three weeks now. To begin the experiment, we will be using six leaves for each sample. The duration of the experiment is one and a half hours. Next, we will boil the water. We will allow it to come to a rapid boil. We add the six leaves to the first cup and then we pour the boiling water over the leaves. We add this and we allow it to steep. For the next sample, we add the same amount of leaves to the water. We allow this to boil for approximately 5 minutes. Then we turn off the flame. We allow this to steep for the remainder of the time of the experiment. Now on to some information about the sour sap tree or the sour sap plant while we await the results. Now the sour sap tree grows wildly in the tropics. It is known as graviola or guanabana in other countries but the scientific name for the tree is anona muricata although the fruit is called sour sap because it can be very sour in taste some fruits are amazingly sweet this is dependent on several factors such as the climate and the soil in which the tree grows the variety or species and the maturity of the tree the fruits range in sizes some fruits might be as small as half a pound while some fruits can be as big as 10 pounds family again this is dependent on the environment the species and the maturity of the tree in jamaica the sour sub tree is important in every respect now back in the day as a jamaican it was not uncommon for the juice to be prepared as a beverage to accompany the traditional Sunday rice and peas and whatever entree or whatever meat you choose. The juice would be prepared in two ways, either using condensed milk and then it would be spiced with a little bit of nutmeg or it would be prepared with lime and sugar. It just depends on the preference. Now, the thing about the sour sub tree is that it is so versatile. All parts of the tree are used in traditional folk medicine. Now, the young or the fit sour sap is used to make a juice for the men. It is said to increase stamina and virility. And guys, yes, Jamaican men, them love anything that will give them stamina. Now another way in which the sour sap would be used is that the leaves are usually boiled and allowed to steep overnight. Jamaicans say that this helps to calm the nerves and allows one to sleep like a baby. So that's another benefit of the sour sap tree or the leaves. It is used to calm the nerves. The leaves are also used to prevent lifestyle diseases such as diabetes and hypertension. Now when the tree starts to blossom, the blossoms are held in a little green casing which eventually turns yellow and those fall from the tree. Now that part of the plant, the yellow casing from the blossom, it is said to contain powerful antioxidants that promotes a healthy heart. 
Now a lot of persons have been discovering the anti-carcinogenic properties of the sourzap plant. But did you know that the main part of the plant that Jamaicans use in such cases is the bark of the plant? Yes guys, the bark of the plant is chipped away and the bark is boiled to make a medicinal treatment for such cases. Now back to the experiment. It's now one and a half hour since we have started and this is what both solutions are looking like. In the steeped solution, we can see that some amount of extraction has taken place. However, if we look at the solution where the process of decoction was used to extract the organic compounds, we observe that this is a much darker mixture. Alright, so what really accounts for this is that some organic plant compounds can only be extracted when extreme temperature or pressure is applied. These compounds are usually the most potent parts of the plant and provide the most medicinal benefits. So guys, there is our experiment. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comments. I thank you very much for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to I am FZBA, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video.